Take him to another checkpoint. Stop. Where Excuse are you going? I am teaching a comp class, actually, so I just need to. No, go. you're gonna have to wait. I go this way what, every day to class. Purse. Let me see your purse. What's in there? Do you have weapons no, I, in there? I just have Do you notes. Have weapons I have in there? No, classroom Do you notes. Have weapons in there? What the hell? Give me your purse. Oh my god. Where are you going? I'm going to class. I just have to teach a class. That's all what I'm doing. What class do you teach? Oh my gosh, this is a What class do you teach? Uh, what did you think about that performance? I mean, I thought it was pretty good. It, when I walked by, I thought it was something real happening. I was about to say, what are you guys doing? But um, yeah, I thought it was a pretty pretty good presentation. What do you think it would be like if um, Purdue students had to go through this type of stuff? Well, I obviously think it would be horrible to be questioned about daily routines, just walking around and having to show your ID and stuff. It'd be a lot like Nazi Germany or some, some, some sort of dictatorship. I think it would be horrible. Yeah. So, I mean, to let you know, you know, this is a presentation that we're doing to show what it's actually like for real people living in Palestine. Um, Israeli checkpoints are set up all throughout Palestine. They restrict movement. People frequently die at these checkpoints and um, are forced to give birth. Ambulances are stopped, etc. So. That sounds horrible. I mean, I, I know, like, I've read about stuff like this in the news, but oh gosh, the seeing a presentation right? like that in person is a really good way, I think, to bring in the reality to students at Purdue who are, like, miles away from them. Are you guys married? married? No, she's my fiance. We're just going to have dinner together. How do I know that she's your fiance? Huh? What, the, what difference Why does, does it, it matter? matter? How if she's just some prostitute? How do I know? Hey, you can't get through here. You can't talk about can't it like that. Hey, on your knees, down. right now. Get down. On your knees. Don't get down. Don't on your knees. Like that. Back up. On get your down. Like that. On your knees. Don't touch him. Hey. On your knees. I don't want to coexist. Not like good guys and bad guys and true lies and propaganda. Put on black faces, cab drivers, or deli owners in your racist comedies. Not bomb your Dunkin' Donuts with my kafia. This pound Fox News, or let you steal my food and call it Israeli salad. I won't mess with his own hand, or let him turn the rocks of Palestinian children into balloon animals, while Israeli soldiers snipe our children's head, shoulders, knees, and stomachs. Hollywood snipes ears of young ones with lovable tales of blue and white heroes. I'm not looking for your approval, not a token role or job on my knees scrubbing toilets in Israel's Congress. I'd rather fight with blacks and Latinos against oppression than concede to a mainstream plantation that sees me as other unless I'm checking a college application. I don't believe in the tooth fairy or 2,000 claims of homes you supposedly deserved when people resurrected and walked on water. I'll exist in a world that fights against racism like Martin and Malcolm. Please get all tales of Stephen Pico as a song that never dies, no matter what apartheid makes of our bodies, feeds mouths in Belfast streets, and resurrects Bobby Sands' message so that we'll never be hungry again. And whether you know it or not, I'm the best solution you have. One man asking for one vote, telling you to look at the sea, and I'll never drive you into it. I'll never return the favor. I'm not out stretching an olive branch and a rifle. I'm extending reality, because being surrounded by so-called enemies on your borders is easier than in your towns and election centers. We may not be brothers, but this neighborhood has made us cousins. I don't want to coexist. I want to exist as a human being, and justice, We'll take care of the rest. Um, in 1947, there were 1.25 million Palestinians in the land of Palestine, and half a million Jews, as you said. It wasn't 50-50 as well. It was more of a 30-70. But the Palestinians owned 93% of the land. Um, the UN plan of par partition, which I have it here. It gave 53% of the land to the Jews who were 30% of the uh, population and gave 47% to the Palestinians who were 70% of the population. Well, you see that the Jewish state here in white has the Galilee, which is 
the most fertile land. Well, it has the desert, it has the most fertile land, but it also has the largest uh, coastline in the land of Palestine, including the city of Haifa, uh, Akka, and uh, Tel Aviv, Ashdod, Ashkelon, which are main ports. So there was absolutely no reason for the Palestinians to accept this plan because it was taking their land from 93% to 47% and giving, well, actually dividing their population into putting uh, half a million of their population in the Jewish state where you have half a million Jews. They're putting their brother, brothers and sisters in uh, a state that was, by definition, hostile for them. So why should they accept them? <clears throat> as far as discrimination goes, and you say you guys are fighting discrimination, I've gone to Palestine once for like once a year the last four years, so it's a relatively new situation. I'm American citizen. I was born in New York, and you talk about how you guys are fighting discrimination and all this stuff, but I go with my mother who wears a scarf, and I go to the checkpoint to get in. I have an American passport. The person in front of me, who goes, has an American passport. He's clearly someone from here, just a tourist, all this stuff. He gets in no problem. I go, I get held up for eight hours while well, you guys question me. You have to know everything, and that's fine. You want to be safe. You see my mom with the scar if you're worried, fine. But then you're talking about how there's no discrimination everywhere I go, even with my American passport, I get held up, whereas other people with the American passport don't get held up. And this isn't even like an issue about Israel or Palestine anymore for me. It's more of an issue of human rights. 